Hi everyone, my name is Frances. Welcome to Stillorgan Library for our story time. We have a great story today. It's called Be More Bernard and it's written by Simon Phillip and illustrated by Kate Hindley. And thanks to Simon and Schuster for allowing us to read this story today. So Be More Bernard. So this is Bernard here. I acted like a bunny should act. I did what I believed was right. I twitched my nose. Can everyone twitch your nose like a bunny? And I pricked my ears. <gasps> I grazed on grass and dug deep holes in gardens and fields because that's what bunnies do. That's right. And when I wasn't doing those things, I tried to look as cute as I possibly could. He does look very cute. <gasps> when the other bunnies bounced, I bounced. <gasps> Can you bounce? <gasps> well done. And when they hopped, <gasps> I hopped. They're really good at hopping. Can you hop too? <gasps> well done. When they slept, I did too. Like them, I dreamed. But my dreams weren't the same. They were less <gasps> rabbity. Oh, all the other bunnies, what are they dreaming of? <gasps> what are these? That's right, they're carrots. And what is Bernard dreaming of? <gasps> A disco ball. <gasps> wow, let's see what happens next. I tried to pretend that all was normal, that my dreams didn't matter. Bernard, they'd ask, what do you dream about? <gasps> the same as you, I'd lie. Carrots, they'd ask. Yes, I'd lie again. The orange ones. <sighs> they were terrible, terrible lies. Oh, poor Bernard, he didn't like lying to his friends. Day after day, I continued my act, being the same as everyone else, twitching, digging, looking as cute as I possibly could. I ate more lettuce than any bunny should ever have to eat. The rest of them ate other things too, things they shouldn't, that shouldn't be eaten. And that's where I drew the line. I can't do this anymore, I decided. Oh no. I started small. At first, it felt a little odd. I bounced when the others hopped. And I hopped when the others bounced. So he's starting to be a bit different. But soon it felt strangely normal. At work I acted just like before. Well, mostly. Look, he looks like he's dancing a bit. And bedtime had never been so much fun. When the others slept, I began to take some risks. A few bunnies were suspicious. Oh, look at the bunnies. Did they follow him out? but most of them didn't take much notice. Look, Bernard is sneaking out to dance. He likes listening to his music too. Now, they're at Bertie and Brenda's bunny ball. Then when the moment felt right, at the ball, I finally went further. And notice they most definitely did. They stood, startled, <gasps> like, well, Rabbits caught in the headlight. They're all so shocked. And look at Bernard. He's ready with his disco clothes on. Wow. You can't wear that, they cried. You're a bunny, they insisted. We're all the same, they chorused. But I wasn't. I twirled and sashayed away from their shouts until my world was spinning faster than it had ever spun before. <gasps> Look, wow, he looks so happy. I felt free and fabulous and me. And well, a bit sick probably because of all the lettuce and maybe the spinning too. He's doing a lot of spinning on his roller skates. I didn't just bounce and hop. I strutted and swaggered and peacocked and hustled. I grooved with grace. I jived with joy. Glitter glistened and sequins shimmered. Wow, I love his glittery outfit. In the lovely luminous lights, it was wonderful. He looks so happy. Most of the others were horrified, blinded by the twinkle of my toes and maybe the disco ball. 
possibly my outfit too. It is nice and sparkly. They're so shocked. <gasps> he stands out like a bunny at a disco, Brian cried. He is a bunny at a disco, Bonnie squealed. Doesn't he know we're supposed to be the same? <gasps> Bella wailed. But there was one bunny, Betsy, who wasn't horrified. I, I like it, she said. It's different. <gasps> so this is Betsy. She likes it. <gasps> now, soon Betsy was just as groovy and happy and different as me. <gasps> so Bernard and Betsy, they both like dancing. I got the others thinking. And before I knew it, <gasps> let's see what happens. We were all as different as each other. <gasps> Once we all boogied out, we sat in happy silence. Then I asked the question I was desperate for them to answer. Do you really dream of carrots, I said. For a while, nobody said a word, but eventually Brian spoke. I hate carrots, he said. I dream of cheese. Oh, bunnies like cheese. <laughs> me too, Bonnie smiled. And music. It's ballet for me, Betsy replied. <gasps> Look, wow, they all like different things. And I dream of hats, Bella laughed. Fabulous, fancy hats. Wow, that's a lovely hat. All they, they, as they shared their dreams, I could tell their hearts were dancing, just like mine. <gasps> they all like different things. And so now, even though we're all the same in many ways, we can all agree. <gasps> They're all doing different things. We can all agree being yourself is the best thing a bunny can be. Well, I agree with that. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy that story. See you again soon. Bye.